If you've ever done live sports production, you know how difficult it can be to turn scoreboard serial data into an actual video signal. Here to help us is the Sportscast Score Hub. It's this little box here, and it turns serial data into a variety of different signals that can help us with our live sports production. I'm Eric Pratt, and you're watching US Broadcast Overviews. Let's take a closer look at the product. This here is the Sportscast Score Hub, as the label and logo say. And right on top is this really cool uh, LCD screen, which covers some of the basics of what's going on. Uh, these little green indicators say whether I have internet connected to the cloud, local network, uh, if I'm getting scoreboard data. And then on this side is NDI connectivity and HDMI connectivity. And right now I'm connected via NDI. And if I tap here, um, I can get into the system menu, and this will let me go through the various configurations right here. Without ever plugging in a keyboard or mouse, we treat this like an appliance. We can enter into each of these menus and change the IP address. We can name the scoreboards, uh, the name of the, they call them bots, um, what the, the UID of it is, um, LAN configuration, whether we're using DHP or static. Um, all those various uh, configurations, how to connect to Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi configuration, whether NDI is turned on, um, cloud effects ID is um, how to connect to their cloud, uh, whether HDMI is turned on or not. Um, right now I have it emulating football because I don't actually own a scoreboard, so that's where we're getting our sports data from. It makes it great for trade shows. Um, and how to configure talking to the uh, scoreboard itself via the serial connectors, which are on the back. From a software standpoint, things are pretty straightforward. It's got a web UI that lets you log into the IP address of the score hub. And in here, you can set a number of important things like the uh, scoreboard that you're interfacing with. So here we have, uh, you can see some of the extensive list of the different uh, scoreboards that are supported from Dactronix, Electromech, uh, Fairplay, Nevco, OES, Spectrum. Um, there's quite a lot in there. Um, we can also load our scoreboard config there. We can set our team names, um, swap them. And down here, we can set the IP address of the, of the unit, as well as if we want to connect it to Wi-Fi, that can be done down here. We get a simple status. Uh, is NDI connected? Is HDMI connected? Are we getting scoreboard data? Um, is the unit updating, et cetera? And then we have cloud effects, which is part of your um, part of a service uh, to connect to your cloud effects ID. So this is not going to be this number here. But what it lets you do is it lets you remotely up upload graphics. Um, and you would have them in this dropdown so you can provision these things remotely. From the NDI standpoint, um, the connectivity is pretty easy. You just add an NDI, uh, add it as an NDI feed, and um, this is it here. So this is how it comes in. And then uh, what I've done is um, put it up in, uh, I put it up in preview. And then I also created a, a comp here. So this is, um, the unit comped together with uh, my camera. So here's, um, if we wanted to bring it up as an overlay, I would just use the overlay button uh, in vMix to bring this overlay over program, or I can create a comp which will let me join a, a camera and some these numbers together, uh, which is really just a convenient way of, of tying it all together. Uh, this is one workflow, and this is obviously with vMix, but NDI, of course, would mean that it's tri uh, compatible with TriCast or Livestream or uh, StreamStar or what have you. Um, the other workflows would obviously be via HDMI into a more traditional switcher or via XML into something like New Blue Effects or vMix can handle XML. Um, and there's a variety of other applications that can take that data and turn it into graphics. But this is a really convenient and simple way of doing that. So we have, without really very much configuration at all, we've plugged in our scoreboard and it outputs an NDI graphic of our choosing with all of the correct data being mapped to it automatically without ever having to make any changes to it again in the future. It just happens. And there you have it, the Sportscast Score Hub, an automated solution for live sports scoring. 
If you have any more questions, please check us out on our website, usbroadcast.co, or you can check out Sportscast at their website, scorecasts.net. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt, and thanks for watching U.S. Broadcast Product Overviews.